In this video, we'll set up your Android Appium tests to run methods in parallel using the TestNG library. The first thing you need to do is create a new test class by copying your reporting test and your reporting XML file and name it Mobile Android Emulator Parallel Test. The first thing we're going to do is add some meaningful changes to the TestNG XML file that goes along with the new test method that you just created. We'll define three attributes within the suite tag here. The first one is that we're going to run our methods in parallel. That means any method within the test suite can be run in parallel. We'll define the thread count, which is the number of threads that can be run at once to 10. The last attribute, verbose, which we'll set at one, is optional. It just sets the level of detail that we want in the output. We're also going to add in two attributes to the test tag. We're doing this because it's possible to have more than one test in the same suite. In this example, we're running the methods in this test in parallel, and we're setting it to enabled true, which will control whether or not that test is run when the test suite is run. It is also possible to run tests, classes, and suites in parallel, depending on your needs. Now what we need to do is go into our test code and utilize the Java thread local class. What would happen right now without using thread local is that if we started running our tests in parallel, several threads would try to access the same driver and our tests would error out. At the top where you had instantiated the Android driver, we're going to now use the thread local class to instantiate an Android driver. Later on, we're going to make sure that there is a separate thread local Android driver created for each thread that the test is running in. Now in the before method that each test use, Instead of using the driver like we did before, we're going to instantiate the thread local version of the Android driver, setting a new one for each test. Inside the after method, we're going to access that thread local driver, replacing the driver keyword with Android driver .get. The last thing you need to do is update each of your test methods to get the thread local driver that is created in the before method. In the login method, there are three places that you need to replace the driver keyword. In the before method, you set a new instance of the thread local Android driver. So now we need to get that same Android driver using a session ID in each of the methods. Finally, in the is on products page method, replace the driver with the new Android driver get method. Last but not least, we're gonna update the name of our test. Instead of the reporting test, we'll call this the parallel test in the before and after methods. If you've made sure your POM XML file is updated with the new testng XML file, you can run your test using the command maven clean test. When your tests start running, you should see both of them running at the same time. If you switch over to the Sauce Labs dashboard, you'll see that they're running in parallel. As an experiment, so you can see even more tests being run in parallel, go back to your test code and copy both of the test methods then paste them after the two test methods you already have. Modify the names of the two pasted tests so you can tell that they're separate and run your test suite using the same command. When you log into the Sauce Labs dashboard, as well as in your terminal, you should see four tests running at the same time. Good luck and happy experimenting with the different ways you can run tests in parallel using the TestNG testing library. Mm -hmm.